previously on Preps. The Thornwood Thunderbirds come up short in their dream for a state championship. And Eddie Curry is selected for the 2001 McDonald's All-American game. Oh, yeah, yeah, my name on it. Eddie Curry. The day that I leave for camp, he's supposed to go in there, and they're going to feed us all, feed the whole team for free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I don't know. You get your name on the McDonald's sign. Oh, God. I don't know, man. It's crazy. I'm the king of the black top, cooping half court shots. I come correct, the stats are whack compared to points that I drop. I play to win and I'm playing for keeps. I'm keeping my game tight and fulfilling my hoop dreams. Real Kings. I'm Eddie Curry, senior, Thornwood High. Real Dreams. Kyle Kleckner, senior, Donald Grove North High School. Real life. I'm Sean Dockery, junior, Julian High. These are the real stories of preps, Chicago hoops. The T-Birds basketball season is officially over, and it's time to celebrate. It's award nights for the, um, the basketball players and the cheerleaders. All the athletes are being honored tonight, so it's awards night. I see people in suits and ties, and we're they having jogging suits and jeans. They probably just get work with Coach Kevin Hayhurst is the master of ceremonies at Thornwood's Awards Night. The players receive certificates for the season and final stats of the year. They were in the, they were in the program. Check out the collection of hardware from this season. Nice job, fellas. The T-Bird party keeps on going. Eddie is a McDonald's All-American, and the team gets to celebrate with them at a local chain. And they're getting presidential props, a police escort, and everything. The media is swarming all over them. They expect Eddie to announce he's turning pro. Mr. Curry, you join an elite group of individuals of former players that played in the game, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, pretty elite group. And I'd like to present you with this official certificate naming to you to the All-American High School basketball team. Thank you. Thanks again. How tough it was for you to have to come back home not winning the state championship? Uh, it was real tough, but uh, the whole community did a good job of letting us know that we were still champions to them. What's uh, important to you right now in your life? Uh, you're slated to go on to DePaul, but there has been talk about you going to the National Basketball Association. Do you feel that you are ready for the pros, or do you think you need at least one, maybe two, or, may or maybe four years in college? Um, right now, I feel I'm ready. I, I think that I can uh, play at the next level, but I won't really know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to wait until after uh, my basketball is over with as far as the round ball and, and uh, McDonald's game. Um, yeah, it is crazy. Uh, I never expected something like this. You know, McDonald's, Eddie, it's, it's amazing. Man, it's tight, you know what I'm saying? I'm Seeing my guy get his McDonald's All-American thing, you know, it's, it's raw, it's raw, it's tight. Uh, this is unbelievable, you know, to be here at McDonald's in our hometown, or, you know, near the house and everything, and uh, they're making this big fuss over my baby. <laughs> this is kind of unreal here. This is amazing. Uh, we just want to eat and go home. I know, man. I want my food so I can get up. Season's over. Let us I'm eat home. and go home. We got lives now. Wrap your right. hands, stuff your feet. Ain't no time to beat your feet. Get out home, you man. Um, well, I mean, it's, it's real nice that they come out and support the team because, you know, these boys work hard this, this whole year. So it's good that somebody is recognizing them and, um, you know, showing their appreciation to the team for putting Thornwood on the map. So I feel sorry for that poor waitress because I know she's working real hard. <laughs> Double quarter pounder with no onions. Cheeseburger. I'll go with the easy ones. They make cheeseburgers. I have got one. I ordered a quarter pounder with cheese because on the Simpsons, Homer Simpson, that's all he eat. So I like Homer Simpson, that's why I got it. And I ordered Oreo McFlurry, so they the flamest, flamest ice cream you gonna ever have. I have two questions for you. 
I see you signing all these. I see you signing all this stuff for the little kids who come up and ask you to sign their basketballs and stuff. What do you tell them when they t when they tell you? I'm sure they tell you I want to be just like you. To be better than me. Uh, I mean, I'm a person. I made mistakes just like any other person. Uh, and if there's anything I can tell them to help them, I mean, if they ask me a question, I'm going to help them as best as I can. Where is my chicken nuggets? I ain't got them, dog. <laughs> you play too much, man. Eddie be hungry the next hour, so we may come back up to McDonald's again. I got more up in there. Max, man, I'm cool, man. Let's see my stomach. I still got a six pack, man. The local party is over, and it's time to go national. Eddie Curry is on his way to the McDonald's All American High School basketball game. He's part of an elite group of two dozen preps from around the country who are making the journey to Duke University in North Carolina. I'm here today to send send the big fella off, you know, right before he boys the plane. I heard he's a little scared of flying, so I brought his little favorite teddy bear with him so he can hold it while he's on the plane. Dang on. I wish I was on the plane shooting down there with y'all now, man. we will be kicking it. Go to the ticket right there. Yep, so all to rally is nonstop. Straight. Dave, give me love, cameraman. Be cool, brother, okay. partner. Stay up, cuzzo. I'll catch you later, man. Hey, who's this cat sneaking up on the big man? He looks like a player. All right, my name is Aaron Miles. I'm a point guard at Jefferson High School in Portland, Oregon. Just got on a long flight from Portland. Now I'm on my, on my way to Rally Doom for, for the McDonald's All-American game. Time to settle in, guys. Settle those big bodies into those coach class seats. Huh? What do I have to do? EC's got the right idea. A little Memphis bleep to pass the time. Sleep tight, big fella. You'll need it. Coming up next, Eddie Curry and the boys start getting some of that all-star treatment. Eddie, I'm Matt King with the McDonald's Group. How are you? Welcome to Rally. Eddie Curry and Aaron Miles have landed in North Carolina for the McDonald's All-American game. I stayed asleep the whole time on the plane, so I don't know how, how the flight was. I was dreaming that my knees would stop hurting, man. My knees was killing me in those small seats. Time for EC and Aaron to get busy. Their week in North Carolina is just beginning. Players from all around the country are here, invading a couple of floors of the local hill. I got my own room. Uh, Big Tyson Chandler was supposed to be my roommate, but uh, he couldn't make it. So now I just got my own room. You all remember Tyson Chandler. He's the big fella that beat Eddie during the regular season. Tyson's a no-show. He's busy turning pro. Now here we go, no profanity, no drugs, no gambling, no alcohol, no girls in the room, and nobody can leave the hotel. Um, I know a lot of your families will be coming in, and if you want to leave with your families during your free time, you guys have to make sure you check with Matt or myself, and we'll check you out. And when you guys return, you need to let us know that you're back in the house. As far as your gear, uh, Reebok, 
make sure you wear your Reebok gear every day. Any questions? Concerns? Everybody who's anybody is here, including Dewan Wagner, who scored 100 points in a game this year. And Uzman Sisi, another big fella who's going pro. This is David Lee, Chicago. This is David Lee. Uh, his grandfather is one of the richest men in America. I might want. I want to add that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, your grandfather got money. I ain't know that, dog. Yeah, Eddie and I played against each other last summer, and then also uh, we seen each other, met each other at different camps. So uh, he's a good kid. Saw him play this year in high school. We didn't play their team, but uh, <laughs> saw him play the same events. So, so we've been around. There's a fancy pants banquet in a couple of days, and the fellas are getting the final measurements on their tuxes. Oh, it's really snug, man. I mean, you know, it's really snug. Just can't eat too much. I can't eat. <laughs> I couldn't even put my bow tie on. Raise my head. Oh, can't even clap. Barely. <laughs> And dress socks. Yeah. We're supposed to bring our own? Yeah, it's just, uh, it's not. I have dress socks. Well, I'll tell you what, we might be able to scourge you out by, yeah, let's okay. get three pairs of socks. What do you think, Carol? Yeah. Yeah. I'll wear them by tomorrow morning. You don't wear them until Tuesday. I know, but I got, I'm going to church tomorrow. I don't have any black socks. Oh, that's so That's so sweet. I love that. So that means they're going to give me some black socks. Don't worry, big man. They'll set you straight. Eddie's heard that his family has arrived. They drove all the way down from Chicago. Mom and Pop, Nicole and Corey all came down to support their favorite player. The drive was long and tiring and cramped. It was long and miserable. I'm so tired. I was so hungry. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'll be out like a light. As soon as I hit the pillow. But I see it, Eddie, let's fly. Let's fly. Oh, no. No, no, I'm not. See, don't say that. Don't put that on camera. He's afraid of flying. <laughs> Tell the truth. We don't particularly care. Your mother. Flying. I won't fly with my mama. See, when I told you I had it in that line. You stupid, well, I'm not. for you, moron. That's not what it says. Or it says uh, ignoramus, or what was it? It's That's ignoramus. not what it, it says. says. Four or more, you're ignorant. But see, that was a practice. That was a practice, Dave. That was a practice. We'll do this again. And don't help me lose this time, Eddie. You make me I'm look bad. You, lose. you make me look bad. I was just trying to get to play the game. I know how to play. You made me look bad. <laughs> Everybody got their chance to fill up and chill out. Time to hit the hotel and catch some Z. Coming up next, the All-Americans get down on the home court of the Duke Blue Devils. Good fella. Good pass. Ah, you gotta take care of it. Gotta take care of it. The McDonald's All-American team has come together to showcase their all-star talent. It don't take long for the trash talking to start. You want to be on the West, though. <laughs> these, these scrubs think they can beat us. Come on, man. I, I, I feel a blowout. I feel a blowout coming up. Taking it to Eddie, you know, it'll be very interesting because, you know, we have other big men down there. So if Eddie commits in the block and the shot, I can always ditch it to my man. And, hey, it's an all-American game. Who knows what they're going to do with it? So, 
It's gonna be a good game. First stop for the Preps is a local McDonald's for some fast food and some fast breaks. Yeah, you don't, you don't just keep going, yeah. Can you supersize that? Yeah. Did you put your order in yet? Yeah. Okay, cool. Man, it was it was different at home because I was I was around all my my teammates I was used to, but I mean over here, I mean these are guys I'm used to too from over the summer. But I mean this is different to how that uh, it's just a different atmosphere around home. But I mean it's fine up here too. The trip coming down here was great. I like it. North Carolina as a place and people here are fine. They're all uh, Southern hospitality. You can't beat it. The preps have finally gotten a chance to break a sweat. Now it's time to get it on with a little long ball competition. Oh yeah, I'm helping. Dang, watch it, Blue Man. You're gonna knock an All-American out cold. We haven't even got to the real deal yet. The players get an official shoot-around at Cameron Indoor Stadium, home of the national champion Duke Blue Devils. It's a chance to see each other play for the first time. Come down, come down on the fast break and stop. I can stop. Eddie's coach for the West team is Robert Hughes from Fort Worth, Texas. He's all business today. Ah, get in front of him, cut him off. Look who made the trip down. A collection of bulls from the front office. Whoa, easy on the stadium, Mr. Kraus. Um, the little postman is only going to be open for about a two camp. In fact, he's usually open for about a one and a half camp, and the defense will shut him out. So you've got to give him that ball as soon as he's open. Otherwise, you just miss it. Yeah, it's not that. OK, let's go. Now, now. Right, good pass. Well, it look like an all-star bunch. <laughs> they come to have fun. But we're trying to uh, mold them into a little shape where they can be presentable to their families, their school, and to the McDonald organization. It took a few minutes to kind of get going and, and gel with everybody, but now we're definitely all starting to come together and, and starting to get our passing rhythm with each other and uh, get up and down the floor, so it felt good. Um, you know, everybody, I think this is a good team. Everybody's unselfish, and, you know, we just have a good time. Just coordinating for some memories. You know what I'm saying? Just getting a glimpse of the gym, banners, the tie jerseys, and all that. Coach K Court. You know, we're going to give it to them Tar Heels the next four seasons. There's really a lot of history and background here, and it's just, it's just fun to, um, you know, you see it on TV, you know, and then you're like, wow, these guys are playing there, and then you get to play on, on it yourself, and that's, that just makes it all the more special, you know? For these All-American preps, it's just the beginning. We still got a slam dunk competition a visit with the governor of North Carolina and the big game. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, well, uh, Eddie and I play well. We kick, there's four big men, me and Eddie, Rickard, and Simeon. And, uh, man, I, the last play I you took, 
I took a picture with Ronald McDonald. <laughs> yeah, Eddie and I are doing real well. Yeah, we, uh, every time he gets double, I had one time today I was out on the wing and he doubled and he got doubled and passed it out to me. And I, I'm from Chicago, you know what I'm saying? I keep it, I keep it, I hold it down, you know what I'm saying? They're like, what, what part of Chicago, Chicago are you from? Uh, Southside. <laughs> I'm from the South Side of Chicago. Just like home, with twice the mess. David Lee has moved in as Eddie's roommate, and now EC can sleep safe and sound all week long. Don't forget to turn off the lights, fellas. Coming up on Preps. Eddie's week with the McDonald's All-Americans continues with the high-flying slam dunk competition. You'll never guess who takes first place. And the boys stink up the home of the governor of North Carolina. You farted, Rick? Damn, that was you, David. You stink, man. Ugh, you stink. Make sure you're on your best behavior, guys. The governor's got game two. On the next preps. I'm the king of the black. Right, give you all the gear shots here. Here's the top to our warm-ups. T-shirts here. Again, the number and name on the back. We got wristbands. We got compression shorts, hats. These jackets for those uh, cold Chicago nights. These are the uh, new Iversons, apparently, and our team has the darker ones, the West team does. And we got the bags for all of it to go in. Free stuff is free stuff, and it's all nice stuff, so we're all happy to take it. We 